So hello my dear Brudas, and today we are going to play as Great Slovakia, I mean Great Transylvania, I mean Great Croatia, um, maybe Great Serbia, Great Transcarpathian Ritania, um, actually it's all about the Great Hungary, the based empire of Mongols in Europe. And today we will play as the totalist version of it. So today our kingdom is going to become a totalist state and we are going to liberate our brudas around the whole Austro-Hungarian Empire. We are going to recreate the Great Hungary and of course destroy Bosnians. So without further ado and destroy the Austrian Empire, let's start our campaign and as always enjoy! <laughs> Listen and look. Peace. And guys, I forgot to mention that if you want to play any Hungarian pass in the Kaiser Redux, you must choose uh, the Civil War in the Aux of 1937. So you need to go to the custom game rules and set it, because if you won't set it, you won't unlock any passes of Hungary. So yeah, we are going to have a lot of fun today, because we are going to fight against the Schnitzel. So before we go anywhere and choose any pass that we can, we will just play the same campaigns as Hungary till the Augsleich 1937. Now you can have a lot of fun playing as our based kingdom. Hungary in 1936. There you can read the information about Hungary, how we went through the First World Crack, how we gained more independence since the First World Crack, and the current situation right here in Hungary. Um, what can I say to you is that we are coming closer and closer to our independence. You know what? I, I just like this button. Okay, not even any slogan, not even any epic phrase, just Okay, let it be. So what will I do till the Auxleg starts? I will just reform my army. I don't want to touch air forces. Um, mm, yeah, we don't own any coastal state. It's our pain. Don't remind us that, please. We need to gain access to the sea. Because it's the main reason why do we still keep Miklas Horty right here in Hungary as our admiral. Whoa, let's even choose a new portrait for our monarch for Karl von Habsburg. And you know what? I would like to take... Mm, let it be the second portrait. It is funny, pretty funny. He has a cool hate, hate, hat right here. Of course we hate him, but his hat is cool. Well, Romania returns fire, but you know, we can start a war. At least let's try to do this option. As you see, all questions with Romania were discussed and now they are the normal state. In April 1937 we have finally received an invitation to the Augsleg. We shall see what comes of this. And we see that Austria has invited other nations to the Augsleg, so we won't just protest, it's not enough, we won't take part in such an Augsleg. Slovak nationalism. Put them down. Why the hell this dude in our government looks like Alexander Lukashenko? Austria demands our authorities evacuate Slovakia. Never. Fuck you, Leatherman. Slovakia was always a part of the, our great Mongolian Hungarian Empire, great Turkic state in the Balkans. Also, greetings to all my fans, brudas and viewers from Hungary. Love you all, brudas. All that I say in this video is just a joke. Don't take it seriously. Love you all. The Austrian parley. Enough parley. We will refuse their ultimatum. Come on, baby, we just need to take Vienna and fucking. After that, Austrians are going to give us everything that we want. But first, we need to take fucking. After that, we can take Vienna. 
And boys, if we wanna get to the list, we need to elect as our new leader Arpat Skasits. I don't know Hungarian language, sorry my brothers, but... Okay, let's just pick him. And between all of these army Mongolian passes, we are going to choose the middle Mongolian passes. The Black Army. And don't tell me that Mongolians aren't Hungarians, cause just look at those icons. It's fucking Mongolian icons. So please, no argues with me. But first, is the social democracy. Our social democracy looks kinda strange. Now guys, our main goal is just to survive. Unsurprisingly, totalists assume control. Well then, and uh, let's see what will happen. Okay, so now we are the Hungarian Socialist Republic, we have kinda cool red flag, and Bela Kun is our leader. Oh fucking yeah, Poles and Hungarians, two good friends, I love my Polish brothers, welcome to fight brothers, help me please. As you see, Polish brothers are two radical socialists, so they are not only our brothers in the Europe, they are also our leftist brothers. And these brothers will help me to destroy Galicia Lodomeria. And also they can take it, cause I don't fucking need this uh, cringy state. And what about our focus tree line? It's insane, we've got in red terror, and we're going by it, cause just look at these bonuses and buffs. They are awesome. I like Hungary and Red Focus Reliant. So the next one is going to be State Protection Authority. And those icons, they look epic too. With these bonuses, our Hungarian Socialist Republic will become Mega Giga Chat, not Soy Boy. Here in situation for September 1937 looks like this, so we are held in the main Hungarian lands plus parts of Transylvania, and we are held in it pretty good plus Poland trying to attack them, so with this amount of lands and with this army, which now can defend the whole territory of our state, I think that we can crush Austrian Empire and other funny dudes. In December 1937 we started to solve the Black Monday problem, finally. We will outlast them, and just look at this great poster of Hungarian Socialist Republic, and this is probably Matyas Rakoshi. In January 1938 we have started to liberate Slovakian territories, and meanwhile Poland is dying. Of course that's not good for us, but they are still holding, and we hope that they will help for at least one more month. Plus, searching our focus tree line. Actually, it's not so big, but I really like it for its buffs. Yeah. And soon we will also gain course on creation lands. Hell yeah, we need to do it. As well as develop other territories in the Hungarian Socialist Republic. As Slovakia and Transylvania. Um, alright, Illyria has a price against the Austrian Empire and now they are our brothers. Austria didn't even want to fight with Illyria, so we will stand again one by one with them. And at the same time Austria asks for peace, and I think that now we need peace to finally crush them in a few years, so yeah, I think it's a Hungarian victory. Plus, with that decision we have saved Poland, that's pretty good for us, cause they are our brothers, and now we have border with a good country, with which we are friends actually. And now guys, let's prepare to war against the Illyria. And now, in April 1938, we will finally get back our access to the sea, which was stolen after their... Augsleich of 1927. 11 years has gone since that moment and now Illyria must be destroyed once and forever. In May we have finally broke their defense by the Danube river and now we can easily attack them. Also in this offensive operation we have captured their capital, Zagreb, one of the main Hungarian cities that were occupied since 1927. Finally those two funny Slav dudes has capitulated and we are going to annex them and after that divide those lands. And you know what, my next enemy is going to be Austrian Empire with Bohemia. 
So in a five months our next special operation will start. So this is the partition of their lands. I have liberated a totalist Bosnia-Herzegovina, totalist uh, Montenegro with Blatso Javonovic, good man with a good mustache and a cool hat, and actually a People's Republic of Slovenia with local Austrian painter. And yeah, you got it right. We have unlocked the Magyar fleet. Boys, I think it's the right time to down with the traitors. Imperial Vienna as well as Imperial Prague must be destroyed forever. Sorry brothers who are living here, we just wanna liberate you. And that's all. Liberate you from imperialism and bring you socialism and totalism. These dumbass have created Saraivo Eckerts, meanwhile Saraivo isn't even controlled by them, but that's okay. But they have invited this... I won't say what. They have invited Turkey. Well, and Turkey is actually in the golden frame, so anyway we will have to defeat Turkey, but I hope that Hellenic Republic will do that and plus we will help them anyway. By the end of the September 1939, both Hungary and Czechia were destroyed. Now we need to go and help Hellenic Republic to destroy Turkey. After I said last phrase, they have capitulated and I just wanna take Austrian Empire in Bohemia. And you know what guys, in some sort we have restored Austro-Hungarian Empire just with the one scene. It is under the Hungarian rule and now it's a totalist Austro-Hungarian Empire. But actually yeah, now we control the all Austro-Hungarian Empire lands plus we've got Poland. Damn, just look at this post-Austro-Hungarian Empire. Of course we gave a thousand Tyrol to the Italy, we don't need it. What can I say about Hungarian focus through line? It's minimal, but it's perfect. Uh, I really like it. I enjoy all these focuses and stuff that we get from them. So I can truly recommend you to play this pass. But that's not the end, because I want to search all these focuses, yeah. And actually, I want to get finally course on Croatian lands. Now they are gonna be the rightful part of the Hungary and we will get all resources and main power from them. Oh and yeah, we've got even an interesting event right now, so the Rakoshi plot. Damn you, damn you. All to hell. And now we will say goodbye to the Belakun and glory to the Matish Rakoshi. Actually in the real history he was the first leader of the Hungarian Socialist Republic. So now, at some point, we can say that it's a historical Hungary, but in the better way. And yeah, this is Matyas Rakoshi. You know what? Finally, in year 1940, my dream will become true. Croatia is going to be a core state. While Croatia was turned into the false kingdom of Illyria during the Augsburg, it is now in Hungarian hands again. And now I can truly say that I did everything that I want.